Hi, this is Carl. Welcome to another SOP training video for managed service providers. Today we're going to talk about one of the most important tools that any service business needs, and that is a professional services automation tool. So a PSA training tool or system does several things. The most important thing it does is track time. And by tracking time, I mean all time, always, everything in your system. So there's two primary kinds of time for employees. One is internal time, that is time that they spend doing their job related to your business. And then the second is external time, which is the time they spend doing the job related to client business. For clients, there's primarily one kind of time, although it's divided into several different kinds of contracts. Think about what you do in a PSA. There's three major things where you're going to put in data. One is the employees. So your employees all have to be listed as resources in the PSA. And in there, they're going to track their time. And I'm real big on the fact that you have to track all of their time, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday. You got to track 40 hours a week. And if you don't do that, you actually don't know what percentage of the time you're tracking. You don't know if you're tracking 60%, 80%, 90%, 110%. You might actually have people overbilling you, but you don't know unless you track all of their time. In terms of clients, you've got a client module where the things you need to put in there are the client's contacts, that is to say their employees, and then their equipment and their contracts. And then in terms of tracking time, you're just going to make sure you track time against the appropriate contract. Now you may only sign one contract with each client, but I want you to put three kinds of contracts into the PSA. One is your managed service contract. That's your monthly maintenance billing. Two is the hourly billing that is not covered by managed services. And then three, I want you to have a contract for any projects. So if you sell flat rate uh, contracts, then you want to make sure that you've got something in there for that. If somebody's on managed services, their managed service contract should be their default. So when a new ticket is created, it automatically puts it into the managed service contract. If somebody is not on managed services, then the billable time and materials is automatically their default contract and you'll be able to track all of that time very efficiently. The third big thing that happens inside of a PSA is ticketing. Ticketing is where these things come together. So clients create a service ticket and then your employees work it. And so that's your service board, that's where you have service requests, that's where you manage projects, that's where you schedule monthly maintenance, and the most important thing, that's where you generate reports. If you don't put your employees and all of their time into the system, and you don't put the clients and all of their time into the system, you cannot generate the reports that tell you whether or not you're making money on that client or on a specific job or even on that employee. So to get all that rich, beautiful data, you really have to work a little bit at it. You know, the PSAs all tell you that it's really super easy and they are, their reporting as a, as a rule isn't very good. So you have to work at making the reports do what you want them to do. But if you don't put the data into the system, you're never going to get those reports. So get yourself a PSA and start tracking all of the time in your company as soon as possible. This is one of those things that will pay for itself once you begin using it. I wish you all the luck in your managed service business and don't forget to like the video if you like it, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and we'll see you next time on an SOP video for managed service providers.